Welcome back. We're going into map number two between Nightwolf and Ciara. This time on Nolwood. And uh, Nightwolf is spawning in the top uh, left. Alter first again for him. The Wisp is floating out. So um, we're likely going to see an Agent of War again by him and his opponent Ciara at the bottom. Which means the spawn positions are rather far apart. Which is usually a pretty good sign for the Orc. Alter first for uh, Ciara as well. And in the middle there is a mana fountain, which is usually not as good a sign for the orcs. So let's see how he's going to be able to make this work. And as I said at the end of the previous video, this is uh, going to be the uh, last important map of this best of three. Because if uh, Ciara wins, then he's going straight to the finals. And, uh, you know, for the... Um, Future of this tournament, it doesn't really matter what happens on map number three. And if Ciara loses, then, uh, you know, the best of three is going to be over and there's not going to be a third map. And uh, the players, the three players, uh, Ciara, Nightwolf and Protoys are going to have to go at it once again from the beginning. Blade Master first for Ciara and uh, Demon Hunter for Nightwolf as expected. So yeah, let's see, especially with those uh, spawn positions, if Nightwolf is again going to end up going for talents because it's such a long way in between the bases and the talents are just such immobile units, um, you know, which can really be exploited by the orcs. So that's usually one reason to not go for talents on um, Norwood. Kind of similar to some other maps, like for example uh, Twisted Meadows or uh, Lost Temple, if you want to have the hardcore example of that. Then again, the Mana Fountain really uh, helps out talents. So yeah, let's see what uh, he's going to end up going for. Uh, Ciara again with the same build, second Buru and Shop before tier 2 tag. So once again... Not cutting any corners here, Blade Master starts doing some creeping. And is gonna hope for uh, some decent items here in the beginning. The Ancient of War creeping, yeah, very conservative. Didn't really put that Demon Hunter in uh, too much of a lead XP wise. Only creeping out the item dropping uh, null. So if he sticks with that, he's gonna go for this one. And then what is the question? Ciara has scouted only here with his um, peon, so he has confirmed that this one hasn't been crept yet, so he's not going there for um, for free basically. Second uh, Glass of Haste, so that's going to be a pretty fast hitting Blade Master, which in the early game is uh, worse than a really hard hitting Blade Master. Then again in the late game, once the Blade Master has a lot of damage output anyway, those Glass gain some value. But of course, there's a lot of other things that are going to happen before the late game here. Orktek has started. Both of the heroes, both of the first heroes exchanging some blows. The Grunt is trying to get the block in. Not going to be able to do so. Neither of the players has the boots of speed yet, as it is 19 o'clock. The Steam Hunter, by the way, with a ring of protection from the top and a circlet, uh, he must have bought at the shop. Blade Master just continues creeping see if the demon hunter is going to be able to get the last hit. no he isn't but actually Ciara just turns around and goes for the steam hunter and it looks like he's probably going to be able to force the town portal as or is he no he isn't because the archer is coming in to do a bit of blocking i was just about to say as he does have the boots of speed uh, the steam hunter shouldn't be able to outrun the blade master and he wouldn't have been if it wasn't for those archers so yeah, let's take a look in the base uh, like on map number one nightwolf is taking with two moomers again so he's not going to have a huge load of Moon Juice regeneration during the first night. As Moomers number 3 and 4 are going to be, you know, not finished as quickly as they could. But uh, tier 2 is going to be somewhat fast. And once again, a few more archers have been produced. This time only 3 on 4. Well, 3 more. 4 in total. And the Ancient War has uprooted again, marching towards the... Uh, Goblin Merchant here. And yeah, it is um, going to be talents again. We do not see a Hunter's Hall unless he forgot it. But at this point, uh, I guess no need to really or no value to re-add the Hunter's Hall anymore. So if you are just in a Demon Hunter, do some more creeping. 
And he's picking up another bad item, so both of the players really haven't had the greatest luck in terms of items in this best of three thus far. And Hunter with his second ring of protection, Big Master does some more creeping as well, creeping at least the ground creeps at the fountain here. Tier 2 finished, uh, double B3 coming this time, so uh, we're not gonna see the standard unit composition by Ciara, and he's going for the Shadow Hunter second again. Whereas, well, the tech is just finishing now Upgrade. for Nightwolf. So this time he's got a slightly slow attack. I don't really know why, as the build orders haven't changed at all for either of the players. Beastmaster second, but uh, quite close to the uh, mercenary camp. And Nightwolf is just continuing to creep. The Blade Master is there, but he's not scouting the Goblin Merchant. That could have been quite big. No, could have, well, tried to steal here, but uh, Nightwolf is playing it safe. Going for the Dust of Appearance here. And uh, picking up the circlet of mobility, Ancient of War has fallen. I mean, he doesn't really need it anymore at this point, but uh, still not really a mistake any uh, any player wants to make. Demon Hunt has been staffed home here. Blade Master was able to cancel one of the Ancients of Wind, I imagine. Did click on it previously. Another charge of dust used here. But the Blade Master is long gone, roaming around the middle of the map. Shadow Hunter is out and is gonna start with some creeping, I imagine, here to quickly get the level 2 and the first raider is being put into production as well and uh, yeah Ciara clearly changing his uh, playstyle here needs to make sure not to get surrounded though cancelling one of the Ancients of Wind again and with uh, you know large number of raiders early on let's see if he's going to be able to delay the uh, talent production even further we could see some early aggression by Ciara you know, with the first like four ish ensnares. Wow, is he gonna lose this one? Yeah, that's unfortunate. With the first like four ish ensnares and a lot of firepower against the Night Elf, who perhaps is not quite going to be ready yet to go at it. Then again, there is a level 3 Demon Hunter already, and tier 3 has started, so so the orb is going to be available quite soon as well. Ciara's trying to go for some blocking with his raider. So perhaps it's not going to be quick aggression by the orc and just, you know, going for a hit and run and taking it into, you know, a later stage, perhaps. Dean Hunter's outrunning the one ensnare that's only available for Ciara at this point. The null overs here is being pulled by the next reinforcing raider and the Beastmaster continues doing some creeping as well. So Nightwolf again is getting away with a lot of creeping here, but then again this game is going to be played completely differently. Bring the PN out again, so it looks like we're gonna see an expansion here, and therefore this is going to be taken into the late game. Talent production is now starting, two of them are out. A dead upgrade is coming, Tree of Eternity is going to be finished soon. And yeah, the Steam Hunter is level 3, the Beastmaster is soon to be level 3, Orb is going to be available, there is no way in hell that uh, Ciara is going to be able to just push down Nightwolf at this point anymore. So another scout is uh, going to see the expansion here in just a second. Red Drake is being taken down. Slippers of Agility, uh, Sobi Mask and Tome of Agility. Pretty good item drop here for uh, Ciara. And Master Upgrade is being put into production. The Wisp is still at the uh, tavern here, so Tinker might be bought soon. I'm not sure if he saw the... Uh, no, he didn't see that. It is a double beast triad. Perhaps he's got a clue, just based on the unit composition of uh, the orc, which he saw with the hawk that previously passed by here and then eventually ended up scouting the great hawk. So based on that, he could perhaps also go for a tinker third, but no, uh, for a keeper, of course, but no, it is the tinker. So more creeping done, beastmaster getting closer and closer to level 3 and uh, it looks like Ciara is uh, staying in a position where he could react to a push of his opponent against the expansion with a ca yeah that's exactly what he's doing with a counter push against the Knight of main I imagine there probably is pillage researched already Talents just chilling 
add the mana fountain are going to get lots and lots of um, cyclones in. One talent gets killed and I'm assuming town portal is going to be used soon. The tinker is just going to drop a pocket factory here. And yeah, there's the town portal. Speech call used and uh, those raiders are way out of cyclone range. So that's a decent trade there for Ciara who is uh, retreating with his entire army. At this point, it looks like for the next at least few minutes, he's going to have a very tough time getting into an actual fight. Only hit and runs. Perhaps snipe off some stuff. Most likely, you know, Talon here and there or an archer if uh, Nightwolf isn't careful. But taking an entire fight, especially against those Talons, which are always going to have so much mana thanks to the Fountain, is going to be a difficult task. And Ciara has clearly lost the mind game here and I think he's going to be forced to use the Town Portal as well. The Tinker harassing at the expansion and it looks like uh, Ciara was anticipating Nightwolf to go towards the middle with his entire army, not towards the bottom. And as he was swinging around from the bottom again, Nightwolf was able to pass his army here and um, quickly force the TP. Blade must have killed the Tinker though in the meantime. It was only level 1 Tinker so that's not that big of a deal. But uh, the expansion is up and running and does have 600 and 46 HP. The problem is that there's fairy fire on those units right now which are being sent away from the rest of the army. So at least uh, Nightwolf knows about the whereabouts of parts of the orc army. And the orc army is kind of mispositioned so uh, it's not like Ciara is very close to uh, counter striking at the uh, main base or perhaps the upcoming tree of life of Nightwolf already. So Nightwolf is going to be able to deal quite a bit of damage here before he's forced to town portal out again. By the way, there is a new Town Portal on the Demon Hunter and a new Town Portal on the, Shadow, on the Shadow Hunter. And this one has not been scouted yet. Let's see if it eventually will, because it could have been cancelled without uh, the Nightlife being able to do anything about it. So the shop gets killed. The first um, Moonwells are under attack, so is the Ancient of Wind. And uh, he is even able to outrun here. Um, his uh, Night Elf opponent. One Grunt being sent back there for no particular reason. Ah, okay, he's at 54 out of 50 supply. Supply block after the Buru has gone down. And this one has fallen as well, so uh, that's why... That's why Night Wolf took a while to use that Town Portal. So getting rid of the expansion here of Ciara, setting, setting him back quite a bit. Shadow Hunter is uh, running around the top again, but with the Fairy Fire, Night Wolf knows exactly about what's happening here, the next uh, raider is going to fall and it doesn't look like uh, Ciara is going to be given the chance to deal any damage here. Raider is going to fall and this is in very close range, this path of the Night Death Army. So I guess once this one is down, we're going to see Nightwolf heading towards the left hand side immediately. For some reason going towards the top though. Okay, now turning around. And uh, the shop is perhaps going to be cancelled again. Okay, S tier 3 has finished in the meantime. Tiny Great Hall has been placed there by the Blade Master. And with a bunch of uh, fortified towers, this expansion is going to be very difficult to take down for a second time. Moonwest is going down. Um, the shop has gone down. And I guess the next town portal is going to be used. But uh, another Moonwell is going to fall here as well as another Archer. So Nightwolf really starts taking some damage here. Fortunately for him, this expansion has not been scouted at all yet by uh, Ciara. Just quickly had to reposition there to ensure sight of this gold mine. Therefore, uh, the Tree of Life can now entangle that one. So yeah, the towers will come up. The expansion is running again. And the talent's not careful, but uh, the Org army is completely out of position, not able to make any use of that. The Blade Master uh, sees what's happening right now. Of course, Nightwolf does have vision of this army as well. Thanks to the fairy fire, and there's going to be new fairy fire if those talents get in range. And with the two towers up here, is Ciara going to dare defending his expansion here? I think. Well, what choice does he have? That's the question. He's been pushed back to his side of the map. Counter pushing is not really an option at this point, so I guess he's gonna have to defend. Or is he actually gonna. Yes, he's going to go for a counter push again. But uh, this expansion is going to take a lot of damage before the Orc army arrives at the Night Elf's main base or expansion. So 
you can see. Taking loads of damage. Three peons are gonna have to repair against that. A Talon here is, uh, you know, going for a bit of a suicide. Two of the peons flying here. Four of the peons flying. And, uh, well, the repair still seems to be enough for the time being. Yeah, and it looks like Nightwolf isn't going to be able to break down this expansion so easily anymore. The Beastmaster is taking a lot of damage. The Demon Hunter does have the staff, though. Staffing the Beastmaster home. Where he needs to be careful, though, as the Raiders are now arriving. But they're gonna go straight for the buildings. Demon Hunter, Tinker, and the Talents are doing more and more damage. One Talon has fallen to the towers here. But plenty of peons have fallen as well. So the first of the Ancients of Wind has gone down. The Beastmaster is the lone defender here. A bunch of Talents are at the base as well, cycloning a few of the Raiders. But that's not really gonna, you know, ensure their lives for all too long. And... The Night Elf heroes just continue, well the two of these heroes just continue pushing and it looks like uh, the expansion is going to fall eventually for a second time. And I think this would still be very good for Ciara if there was no expansion on the side of Nightwolf, but there is one. Now the TP is coming in, Shadow Hunter does not have a TP because the Blade Master carries it this time. And uh, he's going to get his entire army out of there, so a new Agent of Wind is about to come up. The uh, expansion is actually about to die, but for some reason, uh, three talents have been left here. So, complete chaos on both sides of the map. And it looks like these talents are actually going to get closer and closer to taking down this expansion. But now the Blade Master and the Raiders are there, and the expansion is going to stay alive for Ciara. Plus three more, uh, four more talents have died on top of things. So Blade Master level 4, Shadow Hunter level 3, finally getting some decent hero levels here. Against 3, almost 3, and almost 2. A few mercenaries have been bought. Yeah, production has been heavily crippled, of course, while the Golden Income has been heavily boosted. So, um, Nightwolf has to get rid of his gold somehow. 52 supply again, strangely for Ciara, who is building more towers. I mean, these expansions in the middle have 25,000 gold inside of them, so they last for a very long time. So if Ciara is able to secure this one properly, it's going to be extremely difficult for um, Nightwolf to do anything about it other than just, you know, dominate the map and um, slowly wear out his opponent. Shadowhunter and Six Raiders have once again slipped past the uh, Night Death army. I guess a couple of ensnares would, you know, help him out here. One Ancient of Wind is up again. Second one is coming again. Again, where's the Blade Master actually? Coming in from the top and the Shadow Hunter did get surrounded here. And actually there is no Town Portal on him this time. So Shadow Hunter is going down. Double level up for the Night Elf Heroes. One Raider, two Raiders being a bit of a pain here. And now the expansion is finally under attack with four raiders and his blade master. A few ensnares are being thrown. He's still going for the attack. Other talents gonna come in in time. Uh, it looks like we're not even gonna see um, Ciara throwing everything he's got here at the Tree of Life, even though he did have or still does have a town portal on his blade master. Tick has been staffed. More hit and run by the orc. The next Ancient of Wind is in some trouble. But as the Night Elf units are catching up, Ciara is always retreating. Not willing to sacrifice any units for, uh, you know, some more gold received due to pillage and uh, some building skills. So another uh, grunt is going to end up falling here. Nightwolf building an Ancient of War. A couple of, ancient of Ancients of War would be great defense against the Raider hit and runs here. But um, Ciara isn't going to make things so easy for him. But at the same time, we do see a second Tree of Life already being put into production by the Night Elf player putting up two more Ancients of War here. He does have the Nature's Blessing upgrade finished already, so that's going to be of uh, some help in dealing with those uh, base attacks of the Orc player who's falling back right now. Shadowhunter should uh, slowly be, yeah, slowly rebuilt. Also put a couple of towers inside of his main base, so yeah, he just wants to be completely safe from some counterattacks of Nightwolf, and that seems to be the case currently. Base looks pretty safe. The expansion with three towers, well, one more maybe would secure that one even further. But as Nightwolf is busy defending his own bases, at the moment it doesn't look like Ciara is in all too much trouble. But at the same time, Ciara doesn't seem to be able to deal any significant damage anymore to the bases of uh, his opponent. So both of them do have double income. Both of them, uh, you know, are 
continuing to uh, play this hit and run game and the past couple of minutes it looks like it has gone a bit better for the night elf player but just as i say that it looks like the um, tree of life here might be sniped out a bunch of cyclones are coming in in time though and uh, prevent Ciara from taking down the tree of life so another victory here for uh, nightwolf forcing the town portal killing another raider just stabilizing here generally speaking as it seems getting a hunter's hall now let's see he's going to you know add a dryad or two or even go into bears maybe or maybe it could just be for ultra vision which also provides great help in uh, you know during the night so a bunch of raiders once again sent around the bottom first walker first two walkers added here already for um, Ciara getting the master upgrade even on those so uh, he's the one going for the tech switch here apparently realizing that the past couple of minutes his uh, hit and run didn't deal all too much damage anymore first of the towers is in some trouble but town portal used here by um, the night elf player as Ciara was continuing to harass with a bunch of raiders those all escaped town portal was forced and expansion is safe Second expansion also starts running though, and again, like uh, with the first expansion, it looks like Ciara is not going to scout that one in time to really be able to do all too much about it. So if this goes unpunished for a little while longer, then I think uh, Ciara might be finding himself in quite a bit of trouble here eventually. But uh, there's still a bit to go until that's going to be the case. Blade Master, Shadow Hunter, and a bunch of units continue creeping. Greater mana potion for the SH. Well, there is the mana fountain in the middle, but he still doesn't nearly have map control, so he doesn't really have access to it at the moment. And um, speaking of access to the mana fountain, Nightwolf had that one for uh, a while right now, so all of his tenants are looking yeah, quite filled up on mana, and he's definitely ready to take a fight here. 67 supply for Nightwolf against 66 for Ciara. So that's quite a strong sign that uh, Nightwolf should be in a good position if a fight were to occur. Then again, it looks like Ciara still doesn't feel like having a fight occur. Always just going for those talents with his towers. Another bunch of raiders are coming in. One of them is falling. The Hunter's Hall has fallen as well. And Ancient of War is coming there in the back. And another hit and run for Ancient of War up here. And is Nightwolf overcommitting here against this expansion? Ciara is really making it painful for him to get all too close with his archers and his talents. At the same time, the first Agent of War has fallen already. The um, SH is actually at the shop here, picking up a heal scroll and a Staff of Teleportation coming in. I guess he's gonna cast the first heal wave here in just a second. In the meantime, the Night Elf army continues pushing here. Second tower has fallen. All of the peons are flying, so this Great Hall is going to be taken down again by the looks of it. Beastmaster is waiting out here. No, this time he doesn't take the time to get rid of the uh, Great Hall. Town Portal is coming in. The tents are actually in quite an awkward position. Only one Ancient of War is left standing here. The uh, Walkers are marching forward against the Tinker. Is he going to get the kill? No, as the Blade Master is being put into the air here just before the backstab could hit Tinker is being staffed out one of the walkers has fallen two of them are still left standing but not for all too long as it appears Night Elf is chasing after that army yeah one of the talent uh, one of the uh, walkers is falling and um, well it looks like Ciara isn't doing all too well in this fight even though the position in the beginning was looking quite promising but the demon hunter doesn't have a town portal anymore and this spell is coming in at the perfect timing and he's getting rid of the demon hunter so perhaps yeah with some hero focus Ciara still has a decent shot in this fight as the appears is there another disenchant available no there isn't as all of the walkers are dead and therefore there is no, no other option for the orc but to run away here still such a large army and this Demon Hunter kill wasn't nearly enough for him to come out on top of this fight. In the end, the expansion is still up and somewhat running. There is another one coming here. But currently we have uh, Ciara sitting at 46 supply. Almost 5-4 heroes. And income from a main, which is about to run out. An expansion, kinda, and a second expansion that is only coming right now against Nightwolf. 
at 69 supply, 3 gold mines fully running, and uh, superior hero levels, 443. But it looks like he's even gonna let this expansion go down. Not quite ready to fight yet. Demon Hunter just rebought at the tavern. First right added right now. He's mustering Tinker. I actually stuck in the back of the base there as the Pierce. Or maybe this uh, Forest Troll uh, Shadow Priest should get going. Meantime, the army is engaging here without heroes, but it looks like uh, Ciara doesn't realize what uh, chance he's been given here. Then again, with the Demon Hunter coming in, the chance that he's been given here hasn't or isn't really all too great. Looks like the Demon Hunter is going to be the target again. One he score used immediately. Bunch of disenchants used. The Demon Hunter is in some trouble. There's plenty of ensnares. And it looks like there is not a single Cyclone left on these Talents. T uh, Tinker and Beastmaster are coming in just now. But the Demon Hunter has died a second time here. And is Nightwolf actually giving Ciara the chance to come back into this game? Demon Hunter again rebought at the tavern on the top of the map. Ciara still has to retreat though. 70 supply for Nightwolf, 45 for Ciara. Second expansion about to start running. First expansion running at full force again. But yeah, still no chance for map control for the Orc. Still the heal fountain to make use of for all of these talents. And well, again, there are going to be lots and lots of Cyclones in upcoming fights and again the demon hunter might be found though but there is fairy fire on the blade master so uh, nightwolf knows about what's going to happen here dried is coming in for some slow talents are coming in for some uh, cyclone he's actually trying to focus the blade master here well that's not gonna work out at least for the moment but he has to retreat already another tree of life coming here right in front of the uh, orc army has to be cancelled but just being rebuilt also kind of distracts uh, Ciara from this one, which I think he still ha no he still hasn't even scouted this one. Baitmaster again flying, the uh, rest of the Night Elf army just kind of uh, waiting on the side. But you know, as so many raiders are in the air all of the time, there's really nothing that Ciara seems to be able to do here. Next, uh, Walker gets killed. Another bunch of raiders are in trouble, and he's even using the town pod to get out of there. The one raider is even going to survive here by the looks of it. So what's the plan? Is he doing a tech switch? Yes, he's going into torrents and killing the um, golems in the meantime. Yeah, he's going into torrents. I was just wondering because he saved up all the gold he could have and now he starts producing. Has he revealed this though to his opponent? Yes, he has revealed this. So he knows about what's to come and if there is not a sufficient amount of disenchant together with those torrents then those are not going to do all too much because the larger the armies get the more cyclones will be available for a night wolf and torrents are five supply units and you know talents don't care about how big the units are that they cyclone so by providing say five torrents to an 80 supply army that's 25 supply uh, those can be dealt with quite easily by uh, cycling them compared to say 25 supply of raiders which would be you know eight in the third raider so uh, yeah he definitely I mean the torrents provide great damage output but he needs to keep them on the ground he needs sufficient disenchant and he's working on that as you can see so this expansion is under some fire as uh, Yara definitely not ready to take that fight yet. Still has a thousand gold in the bank. Gonna go for another attack here against the uh, well, former expansion where the Tree of Eternity has now walked. He is escaping. Town portal used by uh, Nightwolf and Ciara. Given that he's only got the two heroes and five raiders there, isn't going to take this fight. In the meantime, in his main base, four torrents out. Number five is coming, and uh, he's gonna have four uh, spirit walkers out as well. And those will be um, master walkers. Have been master walkers for a while, so he can also, if he's got the mana, 
revive uh, Torin or Walkers. And now he's... Does he have a... Oh boy, doesn't... He does have a Town Pod on the Blade Master, okay. Because he's not going to be allowed to get out of there by foot. Nightwolf splitting his army. Blade Master is coming in with the backstab. Skilling Windwalk level 3 here. And realizes quite quickly that there is no way to get out of there without a TP. So next expansion is going to start running here soon for Nightwolf. It's going to put him up to 3 running gold mines against currently only one so Ciara well he's getting this one again but Ciara has a lot riding on this fight here two zero upgrades on his raiders and torrents level five blade master one in will portion no heal scroll and he's going for the fountain right now contesting that one finally 80 supply for Ciara 83 for Nightwolf who's got a bunch of master talents who is going into bear production right now as well he's got master bears finished only has two on the field at the moment currently. But for Nightwolf there is no reason to fight currently. He's sitting at 84 supply. And uh, yeah, he's just going to go up to 100 and try to keep his superior uh, gold income. Bunch of fairy dragons added here against desecrated. the spirit walkers. And Ciara is going to go at it. 87 supply in the meantime, still 80 for Ciara. He's added a new town portal. Not a single heal scroll though. And five torrents exactly. Five torrents, four walkers, five raiders. Going at it. Moving forward here. He's got an ogre mauler, the pocket factory, and two bears to take here, as well as his heroes, of course. And so far, there's not really all too much flying here, which is a bit surprising. A lot of disenchants used already. And now, as we can see, the walkers are all dropping somewhat low in HP, which is where the lack of heal scrolls is really coming into play. The Blade Master is chopping apart the Tinker here. But uh, now he finally starts having all of his units fly as the mana seems to be gone on his walkers. Well, there is a bit of mana left, but if the walkers continue disenchanting, then uh, they are just going to die to the mana flare. So the lack of healing is really backfiring here at Ciara, and he's forced back to the fountain. Um, Nightwolf holding this quite handily. Demon Hunter 5.5, trying to go for the Demon Hunter again, but there is... A uh, rejuvenation available. Both of the heroes actually are in trouble. The Beastmaster is falling. The Demon Hunter gets rejuvenated. One of the bears is falling. Uh, Ciara is really giving it his all. One last hero wave is being cast here. But at the same time, there are still so many talents left standing. And the focus fire against the torrents with the heavy armor isn't all too terrible. The Blade Master does get level 6 right now though. And is he going to be able to use a nice um, blade storm here? Perhaps the... Shadow Hunter is about to fall by the Bladestorm is killing the majority of talents. Only two talents left standing. But the Demon Hunter has reached level 6 as well, which uh, yeah we do see in action right now. And is he gonna go straight for the Blade Master? He still has an inward potion though, but Ciara is calling GG already, dropping down to I don't know, 40-ish supply here, losing his level 5 Shadow Hunter. A big deal there, of course, and it looks like he didn't feel like he was a he was going to be able to come back into this game. The Blade Master still was carrying the town portal, so he could have gotten out of there alive with his Blade Master and uh, I don't know, like four units he had left standing there. But I guess the problem was just that he was facing three gold mines in the end there against one gold mine with a second one slowly coming, so it looks like he didn't feel like he was going to be able to um, consolidate, build up another army and then beat a night of in a fight with I don't know a 20 supply advantage plus a demon hunter with metamorphosis which I guess Ciara perhaps has a bit of a point which means Nightwolf wins 2-0 here which means the entire three best of threes we've seen right now have been well rendered useless and that means we're gonna have to go into a second round of um, of best of threes. But that's not exactly true because Nightwolf ended up um, forfeiting here after round one. Because he said uh, he was really tired and he didn't feel like he could or he would really win in another round because, you know, these three best of threes were all played in one evening. and It was already somewhat late and Nightwolf forfeited. And on top of things he said that even if he won 
it was unlikely that he was gonna get a visa for the finals. So uh, Nightwolf stepping out of the tournament here voluntarily, going out with um, a blow, finishing the tournament with a level 6 Demon Hunter here. Which means we're gonna have one last best of three that's going to be deciding between Ciara and Pro Toys. And the winner of that is gonna go to the finals and the loser is going to be out. So we're gonna see that one next and um, yeah, as I said, we're going to determine the next uh, participant of the finals there. So I hope you'll check that out and I hope you'll leave a comment here and a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Take care.